Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? It's kind of weird to say that, huh? Luckily, it's still fake for you. Right? If everything is still fake for us, why would that be lucky? And again, we, we can't handle the truth. Okay, and I'm just going to show you a very scary example of why it's still lucky that things are still fake for us. Okay? And what do I mean fake? Because, see, it's a spiritual battle. But that spiritual battle, the word, the whole concept of the spiritual battle is still fake to most people. It's not really taken seriously yet because we can't handle the truth. See, most of us are still making it political or, or just physical. Okay, not spiritual, physical. So it's still fake. And everybody's like, I know the truth, or I can handle the truth. But, you know, the Q community is talking about physical truths. Okay, and why is it still, why is it lucky that you, it is still fake for you? Okay, so let's use the people that rule the world right now that worship Satan, okay? Because that's a big part of the cue is exposed in this type of stuff, right? And it's very difficult to read these stories and see the pictures and, and just learn about it, okay? It's very difficult, even for the hardest core people that have been doing it for a long time. It still hits you. So to us, we say, oh, I'm so awake. I'm exposing all this. I know all about it. Look, here it is. But luckily, it's still fake for you. You see, because you sit there and say, oh, I know the truth about it. But you don't. Because you haven't been in that family circle or secret society circle that actually does the rituals. You see, you're looking from way over here in the safety, looking at it. Okay? And see, it's fake to you. It's not a real reality. It's something that you know about, but you haven't experienced it. It's not physically real for you. Luckily, it's still fake for you that you don't know the truth. And you think I'm stopping there. This is a setup. This is to segue you in to explain to you why it's lucky it's still fake for you. Because we're looking and talking now about these people and we look and watch and see how scary and demonic and scary it is. Okay? These people, I mean, could you imagine just being and, and observing it? You would, it would put you in a mental hospital watching what happens. It would put you in a mental hospital. Your heart would stop with fear what these people are doing to other humans. Okay? Now, those people that are doing those things are getting rewarded with money, power within the governments, power within TV, and power on all kinds of physical ways. See, it's still fake for you because, see, that means there is two worlds happening. We live in this one right here that's fake for us. These people, we can't even comprehend being in the physical world of that part. You say you want to know the truth? You want to know what the other universe and reality is that's walking amongst us? That's making people do things that are controlled? These people see these things and are afraid of them. Therefore, they do terrible, bad things. Not only to be rewarded, but so that they don't have to be <clears throat> tortured themselves by these things. Everything eats. Everything eats. You see, the Q community wants to fight about politics and politicians and support politicians. The ones that have all the money and all the power and all the 
and you don't know who's who. When we support governments and, and these politicians, they're the ones that do these rituals. It's lucky you still, you're lucky it's still fake for you. Because you're still fighting for physical politicians that do this stuff. And you can't even really, I mean, I don't want you to be able to handle looking at pictures of what these people do. I don't want you to see those pictures. I don't want that stuff in your mind, in your heart, in your, in your eyes. You cry so hard. And that's just observing it from a photo, not even video footage, just a photo. And you're saying that you can handle the truth? The truth is what these people do. The truth would mean that you would have to physically be there and observe it or even even partake of it for you to know the truth, to absolutely know the truth. And you wouldn't handle that. Either would I. I'm not saying that we could, should, or want to. But that's still not even the whole story. There's a spiritual battle over here that's being 100% ignored on purpose, luckily, for you. Because if you knew of this spiritual other world that was happening on our world, you would be unable to go forward. It's it's designed this way. Not just because you're being because we are being brainwashed, but because <laughs> we can talk about those things a little bit later. Luckily, it's still fake for you. Be very careful about asking for things that you might not be ready for. Show me the truth. Luckily, the truth has not been shown to you.